Have you ever wondered about all the signals that you see on your wireless devices and whether they could cause problems for you? Actually, some of them can. Most of the time, you can see there's a whole bunch of wireless signals right here where I'm sitting. And if they happen to be on the same channel as your wireless router or your wireless device, it can cause interference, which can cause problems for you. Um, one way that I found that you can find out if you are on happen to be on the same channel as another router or as another device is a little program called Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Analyzer. If you click on that, it's going to bring up all the wireless signals that are within range of your stuff. And you can see right here, all the different colors indicate different wireless signals or different wireless routers that are within range of my device. You can see right here, they interfere with e they can interfere with each other. So what you can do is you can take your wireless signal and move it to a different channel so that it's not interfered with by the others. One thing you can see is that there is a lot of wireless signals um, and a lot of times they can interfere with each other and cause problems. Another thing that you can do is if you get a router that has a 5 gigahertz radio, it has a lot more channels to play with. So you can see here's one 5G radio signal and then there's another but there's no way that they're going to interfere because they're so far apart. So if you have a 5G a, a router that has 5G on it, then it's going to have less interference whereas if you have the older routers with the 2G, you can see there's a lot of those out there and can cause a problem. So just make sure that, you know, check this, see if you're on a different channel if you're not you can move it to another channel which will help with some of the interference and make it so you have less wireless problems when you're trying to get on the internet.